Uh, now on Bounce, we have Mama Mac back in the studio. She's here every Tuesday for her popular segment, Ask Mama Mac. Of course, she's my mama. It's always good to see you, Mama. Good to see you, too, D. And everybody here in the studio lights up when you walk in. What'd you say? Did you say good to see you, D? No. Oh, okay. It's a family nickname uh -oh. she likes to trot out from time should to time. Should we talk it's about it or not? We shouldn't. Do we should not we talk should. about it. We just jumped out. Okay, you know? all right. Yeah. I got you. you. Know, all right. Uh, we'll keep it moving, though. We'll talk about it a little later. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let's start with a picture on Jessica Simpson's Instagram page mm. causing some controversy tonight. She posted uh, this photo of her three-year-old holding a milkshake. She's showing a bit of sass right but Simpson mm -hmm. captioned the post by referencing another singer's hit song uh, Khalees back in 2003 called milkshake she wrote my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like it's better than yours if you know that song uh, many people believe the song is about sexual activity so now some folks on the gram are criticizing Simpson for sexualizing her daughters while others think that people are taking it too seriously so mama Mac uh, we want to know is this cute or should she remove the post or should she perhaps tweak the caption mm -hmm. to the post? She's got her hand on her hip, you mm -hmm. know. She's drinking the milkshake. Okay. And I think it would have been fine, but I think what people are having the most issue with is the lyrics the song. to the song. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because oh. milkshake in this case stands for, mm. you know, mm. okay. Yeah. What well, do you think? I think she should retweet the caption or something. Yeah, or edit it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely. What, what would you think if you if knew that she knew that? I mean, because Jessica Simpson has been uh, criticized, not necessarily criticized, I guess. She's not, uh, yeah, I guess, portrayed as the smartest person in the world back in the day. And uh -huh. she said that she didn't know some things about different things. I didn't know that was pronounced that way or whatever the case may be. What, what do you Maybe think she, she would is, yeah, well, You like to think, right? I shouldn't say that. I won't say that. Um, yeah. I would like to think that maybe she's not all there. Right. Or maybe she's for some in some way not aware of what the song means. Right. That's what I was saying. But I mean, she yes. would know. Yes. You're yes. in the music whoa, business. Whoa, 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 maybe whoa, whoa. she doesn't know whoa, whoa. what the song means. And she's an adult, so she would know. And she's had a child, so she would know. I'm not giving her that. Okay. okay. All right. Good deal. There you go. Boom shakalaka. Bam. That's that's cut and dry. That's the that's the most cut and dry you've ever been. Bam. Draw the line. It's done. In the sand. All right. Some students in North Carolina are learning an important lesson, but not without doing some dirty work. The students at Wilmington Academy of Art and Science had to tie trash bags to their belt loops for the past 24 hours. Now, instead of throwing waste away in the garbage can, they had to throw it away in their personal bag to show them just how much trash they generate every day. Teachers say the lesson seems to be working and more students vow to recycle more. Mama Mac, do you like this project? And how will it uh, leave a lasting impression on students if you were to have done that? I, I think it's a good good um, uh, program or project that they're doing because um, what my son said to me to make me start recycling more was that, you know, you're protecting the earth for us. And I'm like, wow. Mm. You know, so that hit home. And every time I get ready to put it in the wrong bag or the right. wrong container yeah I can hear him talking in my ear like mom yeah so that's pretty powerful right? yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and coming from Trey of all people yeah mm. it's like a you like that? You like it, Brigitte? Like yeah, no, I definitely like that program. I mean, uh, my brother is also one of the reasons why I recycle mm -hmm. so maniacally. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like it, it's one way that students can can take it and say, okay, this is something I can do to make mm -hmm. Earth better, to reduce better. your carbon mm -hmm. footprint. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that whole concept of leaving the campsite better than you found it, uh, if you will. Yeah. And this is something simple that can really get their attention. And um, one of the kids, uh, we ran this earlier in the four, and one of the kids that he was even going to try composting um, yeah. because of this project. Mm -hmm. So I think anything, anytime we can get our kids to realize that things are so much bigger than just them and their little world, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. and that they're going to have to live in this world, mm -hmm. I think it's a good thing. Good mm -hmm. impact. Good deal. Uh, so, Mama Mac, we want to get your take on tonight's sound off. You've been okay. listening here as yes. you were waiting in the wings. This right. Texas school teacher petitioning lawmakers to give students a free lunch, even if their meal carts have no money. Mr. Kelvin Holt says the Texas bill should be changed to allow school children to have regular meals for breakfast or lunch, even if they don't have any money in the meal account. He started a petition, change.org, on change.org, to get rid of the alternative meals like cheese sandwiches.
and still give these uh, students regular meals. Mr. Holt says parents should then uh, pay for it later. School should let them do that. So Mama Mac, we want to know, would you sign this petition to give students with no money a free meal anyway? Yes, I most definitely will because I go back to the old scripture quote, if you've done it to the least of these, you've done it unto me. So if you have not fed me, you've done it to me. So yes, definitely give them free. And like the one um, person commented, they're going to throw the food away. They don't eat it. It's waste. Cut the waste. Feed the kids. Yeah. And if you've ever had a kid in school, you know, then you can certainly relate to that, you know? Oh, yeah. And I remember when I was in high school, um, you know, and I was in, uh, involved in student government, and we could never do any kind of project that would cut into lunchtime or take away from it because our advisor was very cognizant of the fact that sometimes the meals that students get during the school day is the only meal they will get True all that day do that and so I remember even at that age yes. being cognizant that there are classmates whether you knew their names or not mm -hmm. that that lunch is all that they got yes. and to deny them because there's no money in the account maybe the parents you know timed it out wrong yeah. or didn't realize or what have you you yeah. know and just and to imagine all the different people that you know you, that, that studies done that when you're uh, full when mm -hmm. you have, that you think more yep, you and it isn't more yes. what school mm -hmm. is all about you're education and making point. sure everybody yeah. is you're right definitely yes. on point when Absolutely. you have a full stomach so. mm -hmm. uh, share a few more comments here I jumped over to the WBTV Facebook page uh, if we can here we go Matt Johnson saying every child should get three meals in school our tax dollars pay more than enough to feed all the children no child should go hungry in these mm -hmm. United States uh, Jamie Howell saying no child should ever be turned down a meal at school that might be the only food they get that day. We've been talking about that. Uh, Dawn Hansen saying her daughter goes to Appalachian State, and if they have money left at the end of the year in their meal accounts, it goes to the football program. She says she'd much rather give it to kids who don't have enough on their accounts because they can't afford it. Um, Renee saying schools should provide lunches for all children. I know that in South Carolina, a majority of our taxes go to the schools. The schools should have a healthy meal for every child. Schools could cut back on what uh, they have to pay for food if they made one healthy meal instead of having so many choices for the kids to pick from. Amy saying with the money in the education lottery, a child not eating lunch because there's no money on their account is utterly ridiculous. So a lot of folks sounding off that on this tonight. And you know, Delano and Mama, uh, something like 100 comments on the WBTV Facebook page wow. and more than 50 shares, people sharing this post. Mm. So clearly, this was, this was a good, good topic. Mm -hmm. yes. A lot of folks have yes. stuff to Indeed. say about this tonight. Mama Mac, always a pleasure to have you on the show. You. Every Tuesday you're here and uh, we get great ratings for you. You know you're a star. <laughs> well, and you look great tonight. Well, thank yes, you. Thank you. Thank you. She kind of pulls something out of the back of the closet. Oh, it the, works. The back of, okay. Olin Mills. <laughs> throw it back to Olin Mills. What's old is new again. Everybody's doing it. You, know? <laughs> you look great. We'll, we'll be you. right back. <laughs>